France won the World Cup for the second time in history, beating Croatia 4-2 in the finals at Lozhinsky Stadium in Moscow. In the 18th minute, France pulled ahead with an own goal by Mario Mandzukic. In the 28th minute, Croatian midfielder Ivan Perisic scored the equalizer, but Antoine Griezmann scored France's second goal from a penalty shot. In the second half, Paul Pogba and Kylian Mbappe also scored for France, whereas Mandzukic managed to score the second goal of Croatia. One person was killed in a building collapse in capital Sierra Vana on Monday, the Ministry of Emergency Situations of Armenia reported. According to the source, the building collapsed on Arshagunyans Avenue while an operative rescue team had left for the scene. The injured were hospitalized, but one of them died in hospital, whereas another one is in an intensive care unit. U.S. President Donald Trump and Russian President Vladimir Putin met and shook hands on Monday to kick off a summit in Finland, the Telegraph reported. I've been saying, and I'm sure you've heard over the years and as I campaigned, that getting along with Russia is a good thing, not a bad thing. I really think the world wants to see us get along. The world awaits. It's great to be with you, Trump said before shaking the Russian president's hand. The open part of the meeting lasted five minutes. Armenian Defense Minister David Tonoyan appealed to the ICRC office in Yerevan for the return of the Armenian citizen who was taken captive in Azerbaijan, spokesperson for the Armenian Defense Ministry Arjun Hovannisyan wrote on Facebook. Dikran Balayan, spokesperson of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Armenia, also stated that they were in touch with the Red Cross representatives in connection with Armenian citizen Garen Ghazaryan, who recently crossed over to the Azerbaijani Saad, but he added that there was no progress yet. In his words, Ghazaryan has a health issue because of which he was not drafted into the army. Do not wait for a change of the EU policy towards Yerevan, the head of the EU delegation to Armenia, Ambassador Pyotr Svitalski told reporters on Monday. According to him, warm and friendly statements by EU officials during the visit of Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan to Brussels were related to the constructive attitude towards Yerevan. If the new government is ready to change the partnership priorities agreed with the previous cabinet, the EU is ready to do so, Svitalski added. We operate with certain limits, the envoy said, adding that the legal and political basis of the EU relations were the EU-Armenia agreement and the priorities of the Armenia-EU partnership. We are open to all processes if the Armenian side believes that these documents should be supplemented, Switalski added. Monday's session of the Yerevan Council of Elders and with the agenda of electing a new mayor of Armenia's capital city was not convened. After returning from the announced recess, first deputy mayor Gama Arayan announced that if there was no quorum at the municipal council session, a recess was announced and that if there was no quorum after the recess too, the session was considered non-convened. The sole mayoral candidate was Zari Postanjian, chairperson of the Yergir Zirani party and of its faction at the Yerevan Council of Elders. But two of the three political forces represented in the Yerevan Municipal Council, namely the former ruling Republican Party of Armenia and the Way Out Coalition, had announced that not only were they not going to nominate a mayoral candidate, but also they would not attend Monday's session. <laughs>